A new Robin Hood movie is on the way, following the less-than-stellar performance of Ridley Scott's version, which only scored 44% on Rotten Tomatoes and made just $320 million on a huge budget of $237 million. But don't worry, Hugh Jackman's upcoming film might just turn things around. Jackman, best known for his iconic role as Wolverine in the X-Men films, has also starred in a slew of other great movies over the past 20 years so there's plenty of reason to be excited about his take on the legendary hero. Now that Hugh Jackman's much-anticipated return as Wolverine in Deadpool and Wolverine is finally here, he can turn his attention to other exciting projects. He's set to star in a new Robin Hood movie called The Death of Robin Hood with Jodie Comer from Killing Eve. Robin Hood's story, known for its themes of standing up against injustice, has been adapted in many ways over the years and this new take will add to its rich history. Given this, it's no surprise that Robin Hood is getting another adaptation. However, The Death of Robin Hood, starring Hugh Jackman, is set to be quite different from traditional versions. Directed by Michael Sarnowski, this film will offer a fresh take on the classic story. The plot follows a battle-worn Robin Hood dealing with his troubled past after years of crime and violence. His only chance for redemption comes when he encounters a mysterious woman. From the official logline, it sounds like the death of Robin Hood will be an intriguing new twist on the familiar tale. Ridley Scott's Robin Hood movie, originally titled Nottingham, was meant to offer a unique twist on the classic story. Instead of focusing on Robin Hood, the script centered on the Sheriff of Nottingham, portraying him in a more sympathetic light as he chased the elusive Robin Hood. However, Scott eventually dropped this fresh angle and opted for a more traditional portrayal, making Robin Hood the main character. While the film received praise for its visuals and intense action scenes, it was criticized for lacking originality and excitement. It struggled to stand out among the many previous adaptations of the Robin Hood tale. The original script's focus on the Sheriff of Nottingham might have brought a refreshing change and made the film more memorable, but we'll never know for sure the new Robin Hood movie can learn from this downfall. Hugh Jackman's upcoming Robin Hood movie is set to offer something different from previous adaptations. Instead of focusing on the familiar tales of Robin Hood's origins or his adventures against the rich, this film will explore the legendary character's feelings of guilt and trauma. While there will likely be some action, the emphasis will be on an emotional drama about a former vigilante seeking redemption. Although this fresh approach doesn't guarantee success, it shows that Hugh Jackman is involved in a Robin Hood adaptation that's steering clear of the pitfalls seen in some past reinterpretations. They should also learn from the best Robin Hood movie, in my opinion, Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. The 90s classic still holds up 33 years later. Even if you haven't seen the delightfully anachronistic Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, you've likely heard about some of its most iconic moments the arrow splitting another arrow, the Sheriff of Nottingham's rant about cutting out his enemy's heart with a spoon, and Kevin Costner's notoriously bad English accent. This story has been adapted countless times, but Kevin Reynolds' version stands out as a fun and memorable take. For longtime fans, the film, with its very 90s mullet-wearing Robin Hood, remains a classic even 33 years later. Despite its cheesy one-liners, over-the-top performances, and power ballads, it delivers a reliable action-adventure experience. The movie is packed with exciting action sequences, memorable characters, and an inspiring story, making it a beloved entry in the Robin Hood canon. One of the reasons is that it has the perfect blend of genres. In Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, Lady Marion, played by Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, watches as Robin Hood, played by Kevin Costner, practices his archery. Recent adaptations, like Ridley Scott's Robin Hood, have taken a more serious and gritty approach, moving away from the swashbuckling charm. However, Prince of Thieves strikes a balance by blending different genres, appealing to fans of the classic tale while adding new elements. The film is clearly an adventure story, but also leans into humor, especially through characters like the Sheriff of Nottingham and Friar Tuck. It doesn't shy away from highlighting the romantic storyline between Robin and Maid Marian or exploring the eerie black magic under the sheriff's control, offering a unique mix of tones and themes 
and the upcoming we can surely take a note and two from this. Another reason is its iconic musical score. In Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, there's a memorable scene where Robin Hood and Morgan Freeman as Azim walk in front of the White Cliffs of Dover. The rousing theme song, playing over medieval tapestries, really pulls you into the excitement and pageantry. When the French horns swell as Robin finally returns to English soil after years away, it's hard not to feel the emotion of the moment. It's pretty amazing that the full orchestral sound came from just 13 musicians. Michael Kamen, known for his rock music work with bands like Pink Floyd, Queen and David Bowie, brought a unique style to movie scores by mixing rock riffs with classical elements. Besides Prince of Thieves, he scored movies like Highlander, Lethal Weapon, Die Hard and License to Kill. A few years later, he teamed up again with Brian Adams for the love ballad in Disney's live-action The Three Musketeers. Kamen also worked on films like What Dreams May Come, Mr. Holland's Opus, and X-Men. So they might want to consider hiring Michael Kamen again for the new one. Alan Rickman is widely known for his role as Professor Snape in the Harry Potter series. But before that, he delivered a standout performance as the Sheriff of Nottingham in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. While Snape is a stern character, the Sheriff of Nottingham is equally grumpy but way more hilarious. Rumor has it that the movie was originally supposed to be much more serious. However, Rickman, unimpressed with the script, decided to play the sheriff with a campy, over-the-top flair. This bold choice added a comedic edge that threatened to steal the spotlight from Kevin Costner, who starred in and produced the film. Rickman's performance turned what could have been a flat villain into a memorable, iconic character. For this part, I trust Hugh Jackman. I've seen him in enough movies to know what he can do with a great script. Another thing that was cool to see in this 33-old adaptation was the modern sensibilities and positive diversity. The film, released during a time of significant social change, incorporates modern sensibilities that have helped it age well. Robin Hood is depicted as a thoughtful populist leader, the Merry Men embrace progressive political ideas and are clearly anti-fascist, and Lady Marian is skilled with a sword. One notable aspect of the film is the character Azim, who isn't part of the traditional Robin Hood legend. While the movie is set during the Crusades, it doesn't portray all Muslims as the enemy. Azim, portrayed by Morgan Freeman, becomes Robin Hood's most trusted friend instead of Little John. He's shown as strong, loyal, and humorous, often showcasing resourcefulness that even surpasses Robin's. Whether it's his unique fighting techniques or using a telescope to spy on enemies, Azim's character brings a fresh and positive representation to the story. So please don't be woke with the new one, do the casting properly. And lastly, Robin Hood Prince of Thieves is packed with memorable quotes and exciting action sequences. The film doesn't strictly adhere to historical accuracy, which makes its dialogue particularly quotable. Instead of using overly formal language, it features plenty of catchy one-liners that fans still remember today. Well, that's it for today. Are you pumped for Hugh Jackman's Robin Hood? What do you hope the new movie will keep from the old ones or do differently? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.